All right, guys, we're here today. I actually have Jay in the car with me. Gotta be more animated. Hey, Kat, how are you today? There we go. So we're going to Westport today to do what exactly? Second day of a sodding job. Um, today we're hopefully gonna finish up the prep and lay some sod. All right, well, Burbs. we'll see you guys at the lawn. Hey folks, we're finishing up here, so uh, see you next time on the lawn. Two weeks later. Okay, so we're back here. Yep, just taking a look at the side job, making sure everything's okay. How does it look to you? Excellent. How does it look to you? Pretty good. Pretty good. That's the best you got. It's pretty good. I don't understand sod. Sod is an instant lawn. I get that part. Okay. But I'm saying, like, I'm seeing, like, some yep. areas, so yep. what does that mean? When you lay sod, you're laying pieces of sod down and you're putting it together. So it's normal to see some of these seams and you can still see one here. And this, this is a whole piece of sod right here. And here's the edge. As this grass grows, it's all going to knit together and that'll blend and disappear. Okay, so uh, it's just it's, too early right now. Yeah, so we laid this sod about a week and a half ago. Uh, it's November, so it's really slow growing right now, but it is still actively growing. As it continues to grow, these seams will just disappear and you won't even see them. It's also why when you put sod down, uh, you stagger the edges because you don't want to have all the same lines because then these seams show up even more. And if we stand back and look, you don't really see many seams because it was all staggered. Right. It's been a week and a half. It's already starting to knit together. And again, if I come back down here and I tug on this, I can tell this is already starting to root. And if I actually start pulling, you can see some of these little root hairs already starting to grow. See, oh yeah, like, down see there, there. See that white root hair? Mm -hmm. All these roots are already starting to grow into the soil um, because it, it is actively growing even though it's slow. And as those roots grow into the existing soil, it starts to take up all the nutrients and water and hold onto the ground. That's the key because when you put down sod, essentially you're laying down a layer of thatch that has grass growing in it. You want it to root into the existing soil so that it can survive. Laying it this time of year is excellent because the grass doesn't need a lot of water to survive. If you were putting this down in the middle of the summer, it would need constant water to keep it moist because it could dry out really quickly. That doesn't happen in November. So it makes it a little bit easier to take care of. We don't usually do a lot of sod work, but in this case, we're at a house that is a new construction. The entire lawn was sodded to begin with. And being this late in the year, we didn't really have time to establish this from seed. So we put sod down. The other side of it is the customer just wanted an instant lawn and didn't want to wait. So here we are. Okay. Here a week and a half, it's starting to root in. It's healthy, it's growing. This is exactly what I want to see uh, from a nice side job. Perfect. Edit. Four, three, two, one.